Hi, welcome to, to Voices from the Streets with Sandy Griffin. I'm here with one of the friends, one of my friends from the streets, and your name is? I remember. Larry? Larry. Larry what? Moore. Larry Moore. And I heard they call you something else, though. Thank you. Alabama. Why do they call you Alabama? Because he's from Alabama. Larry, how long have you been homeless? This time for eight years. What did you do before that? Uh, I used to be a first class mechanic. Ah. I used to drive 18 wheelers. Drive 18 wheelers and you were a first class mechanic. So you did that and you had a home? And you had a family? No. No? I had a family, but my family died. Okay, so your family all died. So then what happened when you had a place to live? That got you on the street. Uh, I just gave up. That's it. You just gave up and left. I left. That's it. I can't deal with this no more. What I, couldn't you deal with? I couldn't because I lost my mama. I lost my dad. And I lost my brothers. I just stay in the hell with it. And I left. You know, Larry, I think one of the misconceptions with homeless is people think that they they choose to live on the streets, that when they were kids they dreamt of living on the streets almost. That wasn't their dream. So I think what I hear you saying is that it's almost like your family died and you became paralyzed by life almost. You, you, you became paralyzed where you couldn't function. No, I just gave up. You gave up. I gave up. I said, I hate what is this. I just go on my own. Okay, so, t so, t so you're on your own. Are you happy? No. But what I need is, is my help. What you need is your help? Uh, no, help. Well, you need uh, help. What kind of help? Uh, okay, I got a caseworker I got to talk to with on Thursday. On Thursday you're talking to your caseworker? Yeah, yeah I'm going to get my number to your partner. But see, what I got to deal with is what I, who I got to come into my heart. See, I'm home. I know what homeless is about. Oh, right. You do know what homeless is about. Right? Yes, <laughs> so what so what is your dream then? Is your dream to get your um, own place? Well, I want to buy my own house and I agree right. You want to buy your home and land and I think that what's really interesting is that we always think that the people that are homeless are choosing to be homeless and want to stay on the streets. No, 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 no. You have the same dreams that everybody else has. But, uh, you know, I work a different way. I work the entire different way than what uh, most of the world. Well, tell me, share. I'm always working. So I'm always doing okay, stuff. so you're working. What are you doing working? Because you work hard. Uh, I'm picking up cans. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know. Okay, so now you're handicapped. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you, have, and you have a walker. And yet you're pushing around shopping cart all day long collecting cans. So you're working nonstop. I had to. I ain't got no choice. I had asked him earlier if I could find him later, and he said, I don't know where I'll be because I'm working all the time, so I go where the cans are because I'm always working. How many people can say that they work all day very, long? Very few. I mean, you work very hard. Yeah, I have to. Okay. I can't give up. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the obvious question to people watching this. They're going to look and say, it's obvious that you have, you were hurt. <laughs> so what happened to you? I got hit by five guys yesterday. Yesterday two, you got hit by five guys. Three of them are dead and two are in the hospital. Three are dead and two are in the hospital. Was that here in Nashville? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the three that died, what happened to them? Uh, they, they, uh, eight guys of body was nine million. They came with a 9mm? No, I came back with a You came mm. back with a 9mm? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just, come on, boy. You were the best. You were the best. You were the best. So he's talking to Pastor Bob Heyman right there. Yeah. He just wants a little love. He's just like everybody else that's on the streets, is that they just want to be loved and cared for. They want to know that they want help and they don't know where to get help. Sometimes I think the difference between people that are on the streets and people that aren't is that someone has, they have family that will help them. And if it wasn't for the family that would take them in and help them, 
they would be on the streets too because they would have nowhere to go. Right. So if you, let's say that there are people there that have never dealt with homeless and they're listening to this and they're thinking, how can I, from the comforts of my, of my comfy home, how can I do things to help the homeless because I don't have the heart to go down there and be with them and, and be under the bridge and love them. How, what would you say? What would you want them to know about the homeless? The homeless is hopeless. You think so, the homeless are hopeless? Well, yes, ma'am. I'll be honest with you on that too. Because, see what it is, they never try, they won't never fly for a job, and they, they won't even pick up candy. Oh, some of them. Uh, uh, most of them. Okay, you Mom. You gotta say some of them, I say most of them. See, and the ones that I've dealt with, because I've dealt with homeless for a long time, is I think that what I found is that they want work. They go to the temporary places. Uh, they'll work. Don't listen to that. I'm not so, because so they ain't going to work. You give them a damn job. Dude. You know what, though? I've had a lot of them working at my home. And I've had them there day after day. And you know what? I have to say, honestly, my experience is, Larry, they have worked harder than most people. They work nonstop they all day. They work hard. Because see who gives up. Because see what they won't do. They'll work all day, they'll work hard for you. And then at the end of the day, when you get my little bit of change or whatever, what are you going to say, man? The bear store, the bear store. But you know what? Okay, and there again, I have to say that um, a lot of the people that I know in corporate America, when they're giving their checks on a Friday, you see them in the bar having a glass of wine. So we, oh, what ain't that you know what? I, I think it's kind of, sometimes I think it's the way that we, that we work is that we go out and it, it's the same thing is that we go out and we we spend the money the way we want to. But that doesn't mean that the people should still stay homeless and that we stop caring because of the way they choose to spend their money. Well, you know, it's not to do with that girl. Okay, I have to ask you something, Larry. So, so where is Jesus in your life? Jesus is a big part of your life? Yes. And um, do you talk to other people on the street about him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at what a message that is. People, you can help people uh, get to know Jesus in ways I can't because people would look at you and say, how can you believe in Jesus when you're on the street? Jesus is my best friend. Jesus what? He's my best friend. Jesus is your best friend. Now, how many people yeah. that have the big homes have time for Jesus. They go and they do their time in church on Sunday. You got a lot of people right there that makes a lot of money. They ain't got time for Jesus. They ain't got time for Jesus. They ain't got time for Jesus. And yet you have all the time in the world for Jesus. Right. And he walks with you all day long? Right. And see, so other people look for other things to be their best friends. Some people look for vacations and big cars and big houses. So you have Jesus as your best friend. Jesus is my friend. Oh. That man walked across the water for me. That man walked across the water for me. He, 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 came, he, he brought me in this world. Oh. Uh, he gonna take me out. Larry, I want to thank you so much. Again, this is Larry Moore, also uh, known as Alabama, who is our friend here under the bridge. Uh, thank you for letting us love you and serve you. Yes, ma'am. Thank y'all. And you know what? Would everyone please keep Larry in their prayers? Uh, thank you. Man there's got all the power. This is Voices hey, from the ball. Streets with Sandy hey, Griffin. Ball. Thank you for joining us today under the bridge. Yeah, thank you, Sandy. Mm. Thank you, baby.